Welcome to Digital Asset News Clips, where we take the advancements in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. So today I want to talk to you and do a deep dive about Loopring. And Loopring is one of those decentralized exchanges that I think could potentially change the game because it is super fast and it is super cheap as far as a DEX goes. And what they do is they use uh, ZK rollups, and we'll explain that in a bit, and uh, uh, to actually uh, drastically reduce the fees from like $10, $20 to a couple of cents. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to take a look at Loopring. Uh, what is it and why we should actually be uh, considering using it? Also, we're going to take a look at the tokenomics, how things are shuffled around and where the actual tokens are and how you can actually uh, gain yield from them. Third, we're going to take a look at uh, the wallet itself and uh, how it all works and also uh, exactly what ZK rollups are because it's kind of a little bit confusing, but after we talk about it, it shouldn't be too bad. And then uh, the last two things we're going to do is go over the actual exchange. I can show you how fast it is, how cheap it is. And then finally, we're going to uh, do a couple of interviews and a new listing on loop ring and uh, some airdrops. So let's just break into the very first part of this and just talk about loop ring, what it is and why we should actually be using it. So loop ring, ZK rollup exchange, there's three parts right here. First of all, super secure, uh, open source, audited. That's very big, especially if we talk about uh, rug pulls and things like that, we know nobody likes that. Uh, non-custodial, non-custodial exchange and payment protocol. Nobody in the loop, room, loop ring ecosystem needs to trust others. And that's the whole point of decentralization. Uh, next part, high throughput. Loop ring powers highly scalable decentralized exchanges, DEXs, and payments by batch processing thousands of requests off chain. Correct execution via ZKPs or uh, zero knowledge proof. The performance of Ethereum is no longer the bottleneck and they are a second layer solution on top of Ethereum and they make things very cheap and very fast. And of course, speaking of which, low cost. Loopring performs most operations including trade and transfer settlement off the Ethereum blockchain, layer two. And this reduces gas consumption and overall transaction costs to small fractions compared to on-chain uh, uh, cost. And we see that even with Bitcoin, which was going on in El Salvador with the Lightning Network, very cheap and actually is being used as a currency. Go figure. So what's the Loopring Exchange? Uh, it's built on Ethereum, ZK rollups. You can trade and provide liquidity. So if you're one of those LPs, liquidity providers, this could be uh, your big calling. And on this show, uh, this is not investment uh, advice, it's investment opinion. I just tried to bring uh, what I think are some of the best projects out there to you so you can do your own evaluation. Anyhow, this is gas free at high speeds, completely securely. Just plug in your MetaMask or Wallet Connect compatible wallets. Also, they have their own wallet if you want to take a look at that. And uh, that is essentially uh, the what it is. And we'll get more into the why in just a little bit. And uh, just real quick, uh, when we talk about the actual tokenomics and, and what's going on, I always like to take a look at the price itself to see what's happening. So right now, it's at a whopping 20 cents. Watch out. And uh, just so you know, I think, uh, let's see, the all-time high, let's go to the max here and see what we got. Because I remember not too long ago, it was at, geez Louise, $1.56, not too shabby. And that was in, uh, oh, that was 2018. Let's see what it was recently. 83 cents, 76 cents. Okay. And if we're taking a look at the max supply, the circulating supply is 1.2 billion. Total supply is 1.3, max being uh, 1.374. 1,374,513,000, blah, 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 blah. If you take a look at the circulating supply, uh, you can see right here that that is, let me roll over there, uh, the total is 1.3 minus what the team has locked up, 127 million. So that gives you the 1.24. So that is some of the tokenomics. Let's see how it all works uh, in, in generalization. So this was a great Medium article. Uh, the TLDR loop ring protocol fees, which is kind of important, comes from transaction volume, economic activities. Everybody transacts on the uh, DEX and uh, there are uh, fees for that. Not too much though. On loop ring layer two, uh, and are also distributed on layer two, the initial protocol fee parameter will be sent to 20%. Protocol fees are paid to three types of participants, and the biggest ones are the liquidity providers. So if you're out there and you have, you know, uh, loop ring and tether, or you have uh, Celsius and something else, you can be a liquidity provider. 
And that is, and then there's also insurers and loop ring DAOs, but it's in an 80, 10, 10 proportion. So 80% are for the liquidity providers. So if that's something that you're into, this might be something to uh, take a look at. Protocol fees will be paid on a monthly basis. And what I found was interesting was that for the first time in Ethereum, protocol fees are earned and distributed on layer two. So look, if you were uh, a liquidity provider on some other exchange and they're paying you via the Ethereum network, uh, you got to you know, pay for those fees, uh, for the gas fees, and then to send them to you uh, as you earn them, which kind of sucks because let's be honest, it's kind of pricey. So it's something like that. If they can do on layer two solution, where instead of being $10, $20, now you're looking at uh, two to four cents. <laughs> I'll take it because every dollar counts, right? So that takes care of that portion. Also want to talk about now is the wallet itself. Let me see if I missed anything up here. Now this is the overview. Yeah, I'm going to link all these in the description below, but if you want to read that, you can. It's, uh, it's a little dry, but uh, well, sure. Anyhow, Loopring Wallet. This is interesting. Is an Ethereum mobile smart contract wallet. Let me read that again. It is an Ethereum mobile smart contract wallet. This is very different from everything else out there. And you don't have to use, uh, you know, to like, like store things, uh, to have your private keys and everything else. It uses a different mechanism. We'll get that in a second. So you can swap on the automatic market makers. You become a liquidity provider or LP. You can trade on the books, invest and earn in DeFi, send payments to anyone, anywhere, all gas free and at the top tap of a finger. So that's a very interesting wallet if you uh, have to look at it. It's completely self custodial. Uh, you can say goodbye to seed phrases and paper backups and say hello to social recovery. This means that choosing people, institutions, and hardware that you trust as the guardians of your wallet. If you ever lose access to your mobile, uh, they help you recover your assets. As long as more than half of your guardians are trustworthy, your ass assets are secure. So again, this is, this is a wallet I think that's way ahead of its time about what is going on because every wallet out there, you have to write down those passphrases. You have to put it in somewhere. It could be in steel. It could be in a book. It could be just in a note somewhere, but you have to store it somewhere secure. And if you lose it, adios, it's gone and you're never going to get it back. And that's exactly what happened to me. I'll talk about that later, but uh, that's pretty interesting. And then you can go here to the Loop Ring wallet and download it and check it out for yourself, how it all works. Um, but I will make mention of this is that if you already have a different wallet and just want to use Loop Ring L2 on the web, head of the Loop Ring exchange and connect. So let's do that uh, in just a, well, just a second. Let me talk to you real quick about what the heck ZK roll-ups roll are and uh, how this all works. So to know about that, we want to take a look at the throughput on all these transactions. So Loop Ring can settle up to 2,000 trades per second. That's like Visa. Ah, check me in the comments, but I think that's pretty darn good. It's a lot more than Bitcoin, a lot more than Ethereum. I can tell you that right now. Uh, trades per second while guaranteeing the same level of security as the underlying Ethereum blockchain. This is made possible by using a construction called ZK Rollup, uh, which aggregates and executes transactions off chain in a provably correct manner. And just real quick, to improve throughput and lower settlement costs, Loopring migrates most computations off chain and uses ZK. So let's just go to it. What the heck is that? So there was a great article. Uh, this was written by uh, V. Buterin. I believe that that's, that is actually Vitalik. So this is what he said in the very first couple of paragraphs to really break it down. He states, uh, we can actually scale asset transfer transactions on Ethereum by a huge amount without using layer twos that introduce liveness assumptions uh, like channels and plasma by using ZK snarks to mass validate transactions. Here's how we do it. There's two classes of a user, a transactor and a relayer. That's us. Uh, well, a relayer takes a set of operations from transactors and combines them all into transactions and makes a ZK snark to prove the validity and publishes the snark and the transaction data in a highly compressed form of the blockchain. And then relayer gets rewarded by this fees from transactors. So basically what they're doing is instead of doing everything on, on, on layer one, they go a little bit higher. There's, you know, hundreds, thousands of transactions. They group them all together. Then they batch them over. And instead of doing one by one by one by one, they just do eh, a couple hundred, couple thousand. And then they just transfer it over. And it's a lot cheaper when you're in this huge group. And that's pretty much ZK rollups in a nutshell. Now I know that there's a little bit more technical to it, but I don't want to get super technical on this channel because it bores everybody to death. Just know uh, it just helps out and it's super cheap and super fast. So that is the big thing. And then uh, before we move on uh, to our last part of using the Loopring Exchange, let me just talk quickly about the team. Now, 
the I like the website. The problem is here with the core team. If I want to look up uh, Daniel Wang, the founder and CEO, like it just gives me his email. Same thing here. So I'm like, well, I like to invest in the people. I like to know what these people have done. So not a big uh, fan of just the emails per se. But I will say this, the advisors are pretty strong. You've got Young Gao, Council China Blockchain Application Research Center, uh, Hong Fei Da, founder of NEO and Ontology, Alex Chang, CTO of VIPKID, VIP Kid, Senior VP of Baidu, and Director at Google, and then uh, Yin Chao, uh, founder of Energy Blockchain Lab. So the advisors look pretty strong and uh, looks like they're doing the right things. And what I need to do is uh, when we, after we go through this, I'm gonna bring in uh, Byron, who's the head of community and kind of like, a, he's like the uh, jack of all trades over there. And he's just gonna talk to us about the future of Loopring and how things are going. So let's just break into it, shall we? Let's talk about how to use the actual Loopring exchange. And uh, when you go here, this is you know from uh, the main part here, uh, the main website, you just click on exchange and I'll shoot you over here and it will talk about, hey, if you have your MetaMask wallet, you can open it up and then put everything in there. So if you don't know how to use MetaMask, I did a great video. You can uh, click up above here or I will link that at the very end, uh, how to use a MetaMask wallet, super simple. But the first thing you probably wanna do is put some loop ring in there. Now you can go to Uniswap and get it. Or if you're in the States, uh, or also I think in Binance too, you can take a look at uh, like I bought loop ring on Coinbase. And all I did was just transfer it over into my wallet and that's it. So once you have it like that, the first thing you have to do actually is make this into a layer two type of wallet. How do we do that? Well, once this is over here and uh, you know everything's opened up, let's click on our wallet. So there's my wallet, there it is. It's loaded with a bunch of stuff. And it's gonna say like this, say activate layer two, because we have to transaction layer two, like just like we talked about, right? All right, let's do that. Click on activate layer two. So depositing assets to your exchange will activate layer two. Please note that Loopring is a non-custodial exchange, which means you have access to your exchange account and assets. You can request withdrawals anytime. Deposits take eight Ethereum confirmations. And after you see your Ethereum transaction, blah, blah, processing. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's get to it. So let's, so I've got about 0 0.2 uh, Ethereum, right? No promotion. And we're gonna click here, deposit to activate layer two. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Let me do my loop ring. So you can do loop ring or whatever else you have in there. And then uh, I only have, gosh, what do I have? Let's do, I think I got 40 or so in there, something like that. Deposit to activate layer two. Oh, it says right here, layer one balance, 53. Why don't I just do 53? I'll just do 50. Okay, well, that's nice. Deposit. Then this little guy's gonna come up. Hey, do you wanna do this? There's a transaction fee. Ah, that's a bummer. Six bucks. All right. So the whole thing here is if you're gonna deposit, try to deposit as much as you possibly can because because a 50 loop ring right now, it's about 20 cents. You're looking at uh, 10 bucks. So the $6, they're gonna take that out of your Ethereum and that's how much it's gonna cost you, which right now isn't too bad. And some people will say, well, why would I do that? Well, if you're gonna dollar cost average, you wanna buy multiple things throughout multiple days, weeks, and months. If you did the transactions on a DEX, on a, on a regular like a Uniswap, that's six bucks every single time. With Loop Ring, you just buy one big, one big spot. I would recommend more than 50. I just do this as an example. And then uh, you can do this all day long and for like two cents, three cents, four cents, something like that. So that is why. So for right now, let's just bite the bullet and click confirm. Unbelievable. So, okay, it's gonna be $10. So I'm gonna, God, this is one of the things why I don't like Ethereum right now, but it is what it is. So for example purposes, let's just click on confirm. And it says, your deposit request has been submitted to Ethereum. Please monitor your transaction as you will not see the corresponding deposit record record on loop ring exchange before it is confirmed on chain great sure whatever so let's get out of there and now what i want to do is let's go up here so here's all the different pairs that loop ring has quite a bit actually if you take a look at it bnt btu yeah uh and then we've got loop ring loop ring to eth loop ring usdc loop ring usdt and loop ring wrapped Bitcoin. And then you've also got mask, 
and so on and so forth. So not a ton of pairs right here. Oh, look, confirm transaction, five review, great. So I should have something on there. So let's do this. Let's go here to, oh, I don't know. Let's buy some USDT. So now that it's here, we need to go back to our wallet and see how it's in red. It says you need to unlock your account on layer two to start trading. Let's unlock it, see what happens here. My address, sure. All right. And then here's my balance and order and da, 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 message. Sign this to access looping exchange. Let's sign it. And some other stuff, sign. Great. Login selectly. If your layer two balance is not updated, please check the status of the deposit. We'll not include deposit in your layer two, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. So, and there we are. Balance, 50. Now we've got uh, loop ring. Loop ring to USDC, I suppose. Why not? Let's do a max. Okay. And order's too small. 10.00. Order amount is too small. 100 USDC. Oh, I see. Okay, so unfortunately, it looks like I have to have a minimum of $100 worth of loop ring to do this. So I had to go back to Coinbase, buy it, and then bring it on back. So let's do this real quick. Once you do that, just so you know, let's go back to my wallet. We are going to need to deposit something because look, uh, when you do something like this, let's take a look at the asset for loop ring. Right now you see right here, it says layer two balance. I got 50 on layer two. The layer one balance is 622. You know what that means? You know what that means? I'm gonna put in 622 loop ring. All right, let's deposit that. That means I'm gonna have to pay gas again. <laughs> uh, so look, learn from my mistakes as far as like the minimums and things like that. So now that you know, I, again, I recommend you do a bigger portion so you can dollar cost average or value cost average. What do you wanna do? Uh, instead of just paying these exorbitant fees uh, all the way up. So let's do that. So gas fee, let's confirm, six bucks. All right, so now we got balance of 672. Let's do this again. Let's put in, uh, let's see, let me just make sure. So like we said, we've got uh, Ethereum, USDC, USDT, blah, 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 blah. We'll do, we'll do USDC, okay? So let's see, let's put in max. Let's just, because I just wanna do this once. That's 135 bucks, great. And we're gonna click on swap. Swap successfully, that's crazy. And that was it, wow, all right. Let's take a look at the order history and see what that all came down to. So as we can see here on uh, July 21st, looks like uh, 672, fill percentage, da da da, price. Okay, total was 133 USDC. The fee was 13 cents USDC. So, hey, not too bad. Uh, I will take that. So that is essentially how to how to uh, use loop ring. And again, you can use a ton of it. And then as they add more pairs, I think it'd be a little bit better to use than Uniswap as time moves on. So what I want to do now is I want to bring in Byron uh, from uh, loop ring. And he's going to talk to us again. He's the community manager, kind of like a jack of all trades, just to see what's going on into the future. So let's uh, let's jump in right now to the actual uh, interview. All right, everybody. So, so just like we talked about, we took a look at what Loop Ring is, the protocol, kind of the team behind it. And what I did was uh, I got somebody in here to really explain uh, really what's going on and potentially the future of Loop Ring. So Byron, welcome to the show. Uh, tell us just a couple of things, uh, first of all, about like Loop Ring, it's very, it seems complex, but it looks like it could be a very simple process. And talk to us about, about wallets, and how yours differs a little bit. And then just kind of like what we talked about as far as like you guys kind of versus the other guys as far as security and Binance and everything else. So Byron, yeah. first of all, welcome. Thanks for coming by. Hey, ha happy to be here. I'm a fan of the show. So uh, thanks for having me on, Rob. Um, yeah, so basically like the best way to explain Loop Ring because we are kind of a unique beast even within the Ethereum ecosystem um, is our end goal, our end state is to be like uh, a Binance ecosystem, mm -hmm. but that can't be evil, like because we're never in control of your fund. <laughs> because you, you like at the end of the day, like Binance is, they've created something great for the crypto ecosystem. Like you can go there and it's a one-stop shop. You can you can buy, you can you can borrow, you can lend, you can earn, you can save, 
you can trade, you can do everything, right? Um, right. But at the end of the day, you have to trust Binance. <laughs> Is the government going to shut them down? Are they going to run away with their funds? Not saying they will, but you, yeah. you never know at the end of the day. Yeah, um, that's, that's a good point. And so Loopring, where Binance kind of built that entire ecosystem on, on top of centralized infrastructure, we're mm -hmm. attempting to do the exact same thing, build out that entire one-stop shop ecosystem, but on top of decentralized uh, infrastructure. So we built out a ZK rollups protocol. We built out a, a, a mobile first smart wallet. We built out a web experience. So all of that stuff. Um, to, to kind of replicate that. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's a good point because I know when people look at it, first of all, when we look at like DeFi, I always think of Uniswap, right? And we know it's very, it's not that it's slow, but it's very expensive right now. So I know people were very happy when Binance Smart Chain came about because they were like, oh, this is great because it's super fast and it's super inexpensive. But the problem is, is that it's pretty centralized and people yeah. seem to have kind of shunned that away like, eh, that's not so, so big of a deal. But here, over here with Loopring, you guys were kind of like a unicorn. We're like, okay, we're going to make this fast. We're going to use ZK rollups. We're going to use the Ethereum validators. We're going to build everything on Ethereum. And we're going to make it fast and super cheap. So that's pretty awesome in, in regards. But there's one more thing that we talked about, which was the wallets, the, your guys' wallet. Because when we looked at it, we I'll be honest with you, Byron, we kind of just glanced over it. Mm -hmm. But th when we were talking behind, uh, behind the scenes, you were talking about some other pretty good aspects of it. So just fill us in about that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so our social recovery wallet is kind of a little bit ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our, yeah. our, our, develop, our development team is, they like, we were the first one to build out a ZK rollup before anyone even knew what ZK proofs or, well, the yeah. ZK proofs existed, but uh, rollups, uh, the whole concept didn't exist back in 2019. And they're, they're pretty far ahead of the time with the social recovery as well. Um, right. So basically, the social recovery wall, basically, it's a smart contract. It's your own personalized smart contract on yes. Ethereum. Right. Um, so basically, it's, it's, a, it's a novel way of storing your funds uh, where you don't have to use mnemonic phrases like you do with like MetaMask or a Ledger hard hardware wallet. That all has a single point of failure. Uh, social recovery wallets allow you to basically have those protections that you have if you're depositing your money at say a bank yeah um whereas like if someone if you lost or someone mm -hmm. stole your phone um you can you can lock your phone you can you can set up whitelisted addresses so even if someone stole your phone and tried to send money out of your account they wouldn't be able to because it's not a it's not a uh, an address that that user that your wallet recognizes um okay. so it, it gives you those protections where you can you can sleep well at night knowing that <laughs> Your, your funds are safe even if you lose it. Yeah, this is perfect because like what, what I always talk about is this, we will never get to where we're supposed to be until people don't know, first of all, they don't know what ZK rollups are. I mean, they don't have to even think about that. They don't know about layer one, layer two. They just open up an app and it works and it's fast and it's cheap. And that's where we get mass adoption. We don't get mass adoption by me making uh, a, a website, teaching them how to go through Ledger and, and all, all the different intricacies about the, the, the DEXs. They just want it fast, they want it cheap, and they want it very simple. So with that wallet right there, uh, I think is a pretty great thing. And people will always say, well, how can you say that, Rob? Because people should have control and da-da-da. I'm like, look, is, is there, there's, there's a big difference between me and like somebody else who like, let's say a single mom, three kids, two jobs, and she just wants to get in, in, into DeFi somehow. And she doesn't want to worry about losing uh, half of, her, of, of all of her funds. Uh, just forgetting something like something that I did before, which was I, I forgot all my uh, my passphrases and lost 20,000 ADA. True, true story. So if, if we can get something like that, what Byron's talking about over that loop ring sounds pretty good. All right, Byron, uh, I know you're a busy guy, but uh, any last last things you want to talk about loop ring or any words of wisdom for the uh, average investor out there as far as crypto? Um, well, as far as the loop ring goes, like uh, definitely uh, follow along and check out our, our Twitter because we've got like a very exciting second half coming. Um, basically oh. in seven, eight months ago, mm -hmm. uh, we released the first generation of all of our products. Um, and since then we've been kind of battle testing and, and tweaking. And now we're just about in the second half of this year to release the, the second generation of all these core products. And I uh -huh. think this is really, really going to set us up for mainstream adoption. So yeah, definitely watch out for that. Um, okay. And then, as, as we, we talked about earlier as well, we do have uh, a partnership coming with the Scent guys and the Trade the Chain boys. 
So um, <laughs> yeah, their, their token's gonna be launching on, on Loopring uh, next month as well. Um, I'm not sure if they talked about that yet, but um, and then we've got some pretty cool trading incentives and uh, liquidity incentives coming out with them as well. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I like everything that that but, uh, that you were talking about there. I know you can't give away everything. So what we'll do is when all these things start to roll out, Byron will have you back on the show and you can explain to us in detail what's going on with Loopring. But so far, looks pretty fantastic. Yeah, we've got some really cool stuff coming. I wish I could talk more about it publicly, but yeah, it's been cool. <laughs> That's why I always say Q4 is going to be fireworks. All right. Byron, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. We'll follow up. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. So we already talked talk to Byron. And uh, as promised, we've got uh, the team from Trade the Chain. We've got uh, uh, Alex Mascioli, one of the uh, co-founders. And uh, as always, by his side, his his partner in crime. <laughs> partner in crime. <laughs> Danish Chowdhury from Bitcoin.com. Gentlemen, welcome. Let's talk about some announcement and what's going on between uh, your Cent token and Loopring. Thanks, Rob. Um, exciting news. Uh, great to actually, you know, um, we are, uh, wanted to announce something really exciting about Loopring. Uh, as we know, Cent is the token for Trade the Chain. It's the governance token. Uh, we listed Cent about two weeks ago, three weeks ago at Bitcoin.com Exchange. It's done really well since then, um, but our next uh, milestone is now partnering with Loopring, and the big announcement is we will be listing uh, on Loopring on the first in the first week of August. Okay. Uh, and with that, we've got a few more perks coming up for Cent holders, specifically Trade the Chain uh, community that holds Cent token. Uh, there's going to be like mm -hmm. a few more uh, announcements regarding this listing coming up, where users will get a few perks around the trading side of things. We all know Loopring is already pretty cheap and pretty fast. Uh, That's the truth. This is gonna be an extra added incentive for trade the chain community, um, plus various other perks coming up when we list. Awesome. Yeah, so I mean, look, I I bought Cent, I bought uh, the Cent token on uh, Uniswap, uh, kind of pricey, just letting everybody know. But uh, I mean, with Loopring, I mean, that's all we want, right? We want it fast, we want it cheap. So that's so that's the first part, and then is there's there's something else you guys want to talk about uh, going on? Yeah, yeah, uh, a lot of stuff going on, Rob, um, and we're super excited to finally have this uh, whole master plan, so to speak, rolling out. Um, but the first thing was uh, is that you know to what Donna said, Cent Token is the governance and loyalty program coin for Trade the Chain, um, and with that, the MLP as we call it, the member loyalty program. Uh, the first thing we wanted to do was reward our existing legacy members with uh, a decent airdrop. And so for every month that they were members. And so that is now live on the Trade the Chain dashboards. As you can see right here, when you log into your account, if you are eligible, it'll come up with that banner, which will click through to here. And this is where you can claim uh, your your airdrop for the Cent token. And that's for that's our appreciation. Um, for our legacy members who've been with us uh, for quite some time. So begin to kick off the process. I'm really excited. Uh, as you know, uh, we've we've drawn off of a lot of different ideas for this MLP from people that we know. And, and Rob, you and I have spoken to on YouTube and stuff like that. So it's it's all about the members. And, and we're really excited to start kicking this off. Awesome. All right. Dan, Dash, what else? Yeah, no, that's uh, that's really fantastic. I think it's it really kind of pulls together. This is one of the bigger milestones that we've had. It really pulls together the community and kind of rewards them, uh, and it kind of bring brings scent uh, into its um, one of the first pieces of use um, and first pieces of uh, the puzzle that's going to really reward the community members. Uh, and I think it's going to be fantastic. This is the first of many partnerships we've got lined up. Uh, but I think as soon as uh, whenever when's the airdrop live, Alex? So the airdrop is live right now as you're watching this episode. So uh, it's fantastic. So definitely check it out for your eligibility if you're a TTC member. And also, I just wanted to add one more thing, which is um, our first iteration of the MLP for the Cent token. Uh, uh, Donna will be making some announcements and we'll be uh, there supporting everything in August. So this yeah. listing coming the first week of August is is really the kickoff to the Super Bowl party for us. 
Exactly. <laughs> so people have like uh, till the first week of August to sign up for the airdrop, get their scent. And as soon as uh, we're about to list on um, uh, on Loopring, they will start getting their perks uh, and then be able to trade it on Loopring beginning of the first week of August. Awesome. All right. So everybody, uh, that is the scoop. We've got a new listing for uh, Loopring. Very fast, very easy, very simple, like we just talked about. And then, of course, the airdrop. So uh, that is it for today. Uh, look, gentlemen, thanks for coming on and uh, giving the announcement. Appreciate it. Guys, uh, for you watching home, you like the video, give it a thumbs up, a like, all that good stuff. Consider subscribing. And uh, we will see you on the next announcement. Bye.